Union Home Minister Amit Shah virtually lays foundation stone for Rani Gaidin Liu Tribal Freedom Fighters Museum at Luangkau Village in Tamenglong District. Congress Party files case at Manipur Assembly Speaker Tribunal Court for disqualification proceedings against Sagulband MLA RK Imo and Saikul MLA Yamthong Hauken. NPP National President Conrad K. Sangma says safeguarding cultural identity of indigenous population of Northeast region is NPP's top priority. MSU holds one day open public discussion on transport fare hike and grievances of transporters taking five resolutions. Manipur reports 39 new COVID-19 cases, 43 recoveries and zero deaths in past 24 hours. COVID positivity rate stands at 2.55%. And India adds 8,488 fresh COVID-19 cases, 12,510 recoveries and 249 deaths in 24 hours. Recovery rate stands at 98.31%. Good evening and welcome to Impact News. You're watching Primetime English News. To stay protected from coronavirus, wash your hands frequently, wear your masks properly and maintain a safe distance. And I'm Premi Tangjam bringing you the news in details. Union Home Minister Amit Shah virtually laid the foundation stone for Rani Gaidin Liu Tribal Freedom Fighters Museum at Luangkau Village in Taming Long District today. The project worth 15 crore rupees has been sanctioned by the Ministry of Tribal Affairs, Government of India. Chief Minister of Manipur, Nongthom Bambirain, Union Tribal Affairs Minister Arjun Munda and other dignitaries graced the ceremony held at City Convention Centre in Palace Compound. Addressing the gathering, Union Home Minister Amit Shah stated that the museum was to be constructed honoring the contribution made by freedom fighters of the state during the freedom struggle against the British rule. He continued that construction of such a museum and paying respect to freedom fighters would imbibe a sense of nationalism to youths of the country. Regarding the renaming of Mount Harriet as Mount Manipur, the Union Minister recalled that while reading about various mounds of Andaman and Nicobar Island, he came to know that Maharaja Kulachandra Singh was sent to Kalapani and kept on Mount Harriet for fighting against the British during the 1891 Anglo-Manipur War. And as such, Mount Harriet was renamed as Mount Manipur in honor of the Maharaja's contribution. He maintained that the freedom struggle of India would have been incomplete without the then various revolts and uprisings which had taken place in different parts of the country. Speaking on the occasion, Chief Minister N. Birain said the museum would honor the unsung tribal heroes of Manipur and would ensure that the legacy of their struggles and sacrifices are passed on to future generations. He also recalled that the first Indian National Army flag was unfurled on Indian soil at INA Memorial in Moirang. Union Minister of Tribal Affairs Arjun Munda stated that the contributions of certain freedom fighters had made an attainment of the country's independence possible. Abhi, abhi, jab, uh, पांच रुपया और सौ रुपये का सिक्का भी जारी किया, उनको पद्म भूषण भी दिया गया और तामर पत्र से भी समान सम्मानित किया गया और भारतीय तटरक्षक बल ने 19 अक्टूबर 2016 को गाइडिंग और न्यू का नाम देकर उनको सम्मानित करा है और देश के सुरक्षा के बहुत अहम काम के साथ उनके नाम को जुड़ने का काम किया है। Union Minister of State, Cooperation and Development of Northeast Region, B.L. Verma, launched a branch of Bharatimana Fisherman Development Cooperative Limited, Bharatimana Co. at Ka Potsangbam in Vishnupur District today. Speaking on the occasion, V.L. Verma said funds for development in agriculture sector of Kangpokpi, Vishnupur, and Kakching District have been sanctioned. He added that Department of Development for Economic Development of the Northeastern Regions 
The union minister asserted that lack of development in northeast regions will hinder India's progress. He is short of initiatives for welfare of fishermen and extensive development in the seventh north. <laughs> Congress party has filed a disqualification case against an attached Sagolband MLA RK Imo and Saikul MLA Yamthong Haukip who have joined BJP on November 8 to Manipur Assembly Speaker's Tribunal Court. Petitioner of the case is General Secretary of Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee MPCC Soibam Jitain, while respondents are unattached MLA RK Imo and MLA Yamthong Haukip. The case papers were submitted to Private Secretary of Presiding Officer of Speaker Tribunal Come. I believe that the Speaker will serve justice to the case without any delay if constitutional rules are followed. Meanwhile, the Supreme Court has ordered to dispose controversial Office of Profit case of 12 MLAs within December 9. He added, if the Governor acted quickly, then the Supreme Court will serve justice to the case. Indian Constitution ge ten schedule gi makha da singna raduna khoye se disqualified topham thoi haiduna adu ma petition ma Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee gi mai kai degi ngasi speaker da pishan jakre Manipur Pradesh Congress Committee na thamjari bo afam de under article 191 of the Constitution of India akhoi gi disqualification of members ki matang na maiek sengna palli aduga atopa amadana ten schedule gi para 2 sub clause 1 gi makha da disqualification of MLA se masi akhoi gi party thadok na chalabadi madu disqualified topham thoi Haiduna, Mayak Sheng, the Palibdugi Makada, Hokiba, Okoye, Nabembergi Gitang, Nipanda, Indian Nestan Congress, Hadok Nusat Kraba, Aduga, BJP, the Joint Tok Kraba, Yamthong Hokif, Amasung RK, Imo, Anigi Mataka, Makoibu disqualified Tobio, Haiduna Manipur Pardes Congress Committee, Mike Degi, a disqualification gi, case ama, Speaker Git Tribal and the Pile Togzare. National People's Party and PP National President Conrad K. Sangma has stated that safeguarding the cultural identity of indigenous population of the Northeast states will be the party's top priority. Kicking off the election campaign of NPP, intending candidate of Khetri Gao Assembly constituency Sheikh Nurul Hassan today, Conrad K. Sangma stressed on the need to build up a political will to bring development in the Northeast states. Speaking at the event held at Athletic Brothers Association, ABA ground in Khetri Mayai Lekai, the NPP national president said, NPP has gained strength with the public support in the past five years and has come to a point of even forming an alter alternative government in Manipur. He urged the public to support NPP gain a single largest party win in the upcoming state general election. He said it's time to raise the voice of the Northeast and appeal to support NPP candidates in the upcoming election. हम चाहेंगे कि हमारे नॉर्थ ईस्ट के जो इंडिविजुअल्स हमारी कल्चर है हमारे लैंग्वेजेस है हमारे अलग-अलग जो कल्चरल एस्पेक्ट्स है नॉर्थ ईस्ट ने लिखा हुआ है कौन या एनपीपी के कॉन्स्टिट्यूशन में है कि हम लोग हमारे नॉर्थ ईस्ट के कल्चरल आइडेंटिटी को हम लोग प्रिजर्व करेंगे हम लोग हमारे नॉर्थ ईस्ट के इंडिजिनस लोगों की कल्चर को हम लोग प्रिजर्व करके हम लोग उसके लड़े उसके लिए लड़ेंगे और उसको आगे बढ़ाएंगे तो इसी के लाइन पर जो डिप्टी सीएम साहब ने जो हमारे कैंडिडेट साहब ने कहा कि जो अलग-अलग प्रोविजंस हमारे नॉर्थ ईस्ट के जो और मणिपुर स्टेट के इंडिजिनस लोगों के प्रोटेक्शन के लिए जो हमें करना होगा मैं आपको विश्वास दिलाना चाहता हूं हम लोग करेंगे और जैसे कैंडिडेट साहब ने और हमारे डिप्टी सीएम साहब ने कहा ये हमारा एक टॉप प्रायोरिटी रहेगा Speaking at the event, Sheikh Nurul Hassan said, Khetri Gao constituency is deprived of development in every aspect. He added that he decided to contest the upcoming election to work for the welfare of the constituency with a vision and not for personal gains. He assured of striving his best for development at stipulated time, if ever elected as people's representative, adding that if he failed to do so, he will not contest election again. Sheikh 
Nurul Hassan claimed that NPP will rose, which grows from the soil of the state with the ideology of regionalism is the lone party which will bring development in Manipur. NPP National Vice President Yumnam Joy Kumar, State President and Kaishi NPP. National General Secretary Thomas Sangma, Meghalaya MLA Marcus Marak and NPP Manipur Executive Members attended the event. Sagi Oizava Tinanova, Nahaki Wakan Kalaga, Levak Manganova, Mashagi, Purit Kau, Jon and Nova, Vot Lepatuka Kumioi Singa to give Manum de Hakti Natsade, Ketrigo Assembly Constituency, the Sahi, Nipuga Mapan Makai, Hin, Kudimaka Maiti, Duna Lak, Labadam Lava Kendra Makane, Ketrigo Assembly Constituency, the Nasinga Simak, Ta Kungi, Ting, Prasagi, Pandriva, Tungan, Tungan, the Puram Singa. Complain to Duna, State Commission Ye, Wayel Ado, Maduna Nim Sumdavatarga De, Legal Exports in Tanaga, Manipur, High Court, Rip Petition to Nunavagi, Sim Sari, Badunla Misagado, I have Ne. JDU intending candidate of Kakching Assembly constituency, Naurim Navachandra, has claimed that JDU will win at least 12 seats in the 12th. Manipur Legislative Assembly election and take a major role in government formation. He was speaking at the opening ceremony of party core committee office in Kakching constituency today. JDU, Kakching unit, organized the event at Kakching Wairi Thongam Lekai. Nabachandra said JDU will field around 20 candidates in the upcoming election. He expressed hope that JDU, an allied party of the BJP late NDA government, will play a crucial role in Manipur. ลาคาดอริบะไอ้ไฟเกตายนดรักษาบะเอเซมเบลเอเล็กชั่นละสิดาเอเจนต์ทาร์ตันยูไนเต็ดอาชีไอ้คนมารวยเนี่ยมีอ
राजनीति के मई लेना बा मियो सिंगना मरुए ने एमएलए की मी सिंगना नत्रगा पॉलिटिकल पार्टी अम्म की मियो सिंगना नत्रगा प्रधान मेंबर अमदी काउंसलर सिंग की मी सिंगना है है तोरगा अखोई की साबम तोप क्या मखोई की मी नती हाई बने सिंग बस साबिदा बखोई दब मैं आम योवा अधिका मागी असिंग बल्ला रे बब क्या दा मशी Manipur added 39 new confirmed cases of COVID-19 out of 1,527 samples tested in the last 24 hours. Today's COVID-19 positive D rate stands at 2.55% as per the latest report from State Health Department and COVID-19 Common Control Room. Total confirmed cases of COVID-19 in Manipur have reached 124,957. Active cases are 678. There is no COVID-related debt in the past 24 hours. Debt toll remains at 1,962. On the positive note, 43 recoveries were reported in the past 24 hours, rising the total recovered cases to 1,22,317. Manipur's recovery rate stands at 97.989%. On the note, it's time for a small commercial break. After the break, we bring in updates on coronavirus cases in India and the world. We'll be right back. Keep watching Impact News. CAE Center, global leader in CAD, CAM, CAE education comes to IMFA. Engineering Amadi Architecture gives student Amadi professional sing the latest model the training period. CAE Center Initiation, Sagul Ben Moiram Nerek Machin. Azadi ka Amrit Mohsab ka Mari Lengena, Ministry of Power, Government of India ki Makhada, Bureau of Energy Efficiency, Amadi NSP, Shina Sinduna, National Panting Competition on Energy Conservation 2021, Pang Thok Lagani, Tongan Tongan ba Group Ani Thok na Class 5 tegi 7 pao vagi na Group A, Amadi, Class 8 tegi 10 pao vagi na Group B, Hai na Khaidu Kuna, Energy Efficiency India, Amadi, Cleaner Planet, Hai ba Topic da Pang Thok Lagani, Last Date of Registration, November Kuntrani, Registration, Amadi Akupa Marol gi damag www.bdiasstudentsaward.in da gi khang laba yaga. Welcome back after the break and you're watching Primetime English News. India added 8,488 fresh COVID-19 cases, 12,510 recoveries and 249 deaths in the past 24 hours. As per the latest report of Union Ministry of Health and Family Welfare, India's COVID-19 active cases have dropped to 1,18,443. Total recovered cases have reached 3 crore 39 lakh 34,547 and recovery rate stands at 98.31%. Dead toll has reached 465,911. Over 116 crore 187 lakh doses of COVID-19 vaccine has been administered in India so far. Globally, coronavirus has infected above 25 crore 79 lakh 91,000 people, above 51 lakh 72. Thousand people have died and recoveries are above 23 crore 28 lakh 75,000. USA has the highest active cases of above 93 lakh 36,000 in the world, followed by Brazil and India. Institute of Cooperative Management in association with State of Cooperation accorded a warm welcome to donor minister B.L. Verma at ICM Lumfeld today. Speaking at the event, Union Minister B.L. Verma expressed happiness that courses provided under ICM have made people self-reliant. He added that one who has completed the ICM courses can avail loans under Various schemes, ICM Director K. Joy Kumar, Chairman of Manipur State Cooperative Union, Tom Pishak, and others attended the event. JAC formed against scaling of Nilakanta Awang Wabagai Development Committee, Maira Paibi and three clubs staged a protest demonstration at Awang Wabagai today against the brutal killing of Nilakanta. The protesters demanded justice for the victim. It may be mentioned that... 50-year-old Sagol Sem Nilakanta, son of late Sagol Sem Pomen from Awang Wabagai, was found brutally murdered near Awang Wabagai along Imphal Awang Sekmai River around 8 a.m. yesterday.
Thangmaiban MLA Kumukcham Joy Kishin has ridiculed the intending candidates, especially in Thangmaiban Assembly constituency, for coming out only when election draws near and not when people were suffering. Speaking at his reception organized by Guigai Long Village Authority at Guigai Long Community Hall today, MLA Joy Kishin criticized that many intending candidates have come out just when the state election is around three months away after being inactive when the public were reeling under the brunt of COVID-19 pandemic. He challenged to compete in terms of welfare initiatives taken instead of fooling the electorates, stating that there is not much poll-related chaos in the constituency. He credited Thangmaiban United Club for taking responsible for creating up the peaceful ambience in the constituency. He also thanked the residents of Guigailong Village for the reception. Chairman of Guigailong Village Authority R. Gaining Pao, President of Youth Club Guigailong PG, Chung Hem Lung, President of Women's Society Shimla Kamai, and villagers attended the event. ผู้เล็กตัวบุคคลผู้ว่าตัวตันไม่เอาให้ตันภาระตัวตันนั่นตัวน่ะปีทีวีกี้มันพูดกันนะโควิดหน้าวิจัยเจ็บกันนะพู
matam sang ranci tawra agasu miyam ge ma khan da ba ranci da sanarak pani na kai ne tawri kamai tawri asi ai si wai haira ga parza kamai sawani kokani ade channa barawan la channa da barola ha ba do ma na khan da ba ngam da ba adum ba gi wakhalon chen ba mana hari ba sri okram henry bu asi ba political advantage loaning ba degi ma na ngang ni ba makhai ado ai sendok sa bani ma do sri okram henry na intentionally ma gi sako ba sa ba do thing ba gi wafam leite koi tong बस से चावनी बस से पमनम थोरपनी पोस लेनाम लेतरेब अद बस से कि तौरे माई गाड़ी से हंधो इमा भी मैम है तो मा सूम तौदना अजे लाइख लापनी हम खतम मनुंगे कुमार हंगना नुगर तौबनी है माइ स्कोटी कोई ले कई अंगा मना फोटो कापने मा मा कौन से फोन से वीडियो लंबने है नंबर से स्कोट के अंगा मना अब नंबर मुनब से ममा से चौंधर इचा की फोन लौदी कई की मुंधर मुनबे कोई नुपी खरग थो मोई लाने खोन खर तौन की मोहन की लाप मीन नो गरी चप या थी लेते चकोब चपस थी लेते मोन अब पंदे कहीं BJP Nambol Mandal organized boot committee review meeting as well as senior citizens and intellectual meet at Ishok Awang Lake Kai today the event was held extending solidarity to nambol bjp intending candidate thongnau jom basanta members of 120 households who earlier supported other political parties joined the bjp we are felicitated on the occasion nambol bjp intending candidate to its basanta ex union minister the chauba president of bjp bishnupur district committee r k bimola committee vice president k h lakshman president of bjp nambol mandal s prajamani pradhan of ishok gram panchayat w deben and locals attended the event former minister morang the mukendru has alleged hairok mla for failing to keep his promises to take up developmental activities including better road connectivity he was speaking at the flag hosting camp public meeting held at shikong village organized by hairok block youth congress committee today and mukendru said what goes around comes around he added that the constituency is underdeveloped due to the incapable leader ฮิโนตะฮิโรกตะนุปีลิสิงโอหุมะริมะงาอุหุมะริมะยาตะโทลิดูฮาระกะดิอะเตยเจมเตกินะเตพิมูเซละกะคองเกรสติยุมทุ
2021 award during the Global Education Summit Awards and Convocation 2021, International Internship University and International Council for Educators jointly organized by the event as a part of Azadi Ka Amrit Motsav at the Indian Institute of Corporate Affairs in Gurgaon. Dr. Konika was honored in recognition for her contribution in the field of education amid the coronavirus pandemic. She is an associate professor at DM College of Teacher Education in Imphal as, and is also serving as honorary administrator at Kids Foundation, Ghadi. Dr. Konika Kurajam has received numerous prestigious awards in the past. 25-year-old Nongthongbam Tushar from Manipur is one of the 75 young creative minds selected by Ministry of Information and Broadcasting for the ongoing 52nd International Film Festival in Goa. It may be mentioned that he has backed the Best Cinematography Award in the recent National Film Festival held in Ladakh for the film Samnaba, directed by Shurjit Nongmikapam. As a part of civic action program organized by 182 battalion border security forces under the aegis of sector headquarters BSF, CI, OPS, Manipur, essential items were distributed to multiple places in Manipur. The distribution program was held at three different locations comprising of Carmel Jyoti Orphanage Home, Moirangpur Rail and Mapaukuki Village. Items include water purifier system, street lights, computer set, standard plastic bucket, among others. Picking the connection to the event, Bipin Kumar, Commandant BSF, expressed happiness in getting the opportunity to help the needy and assured that the battalion will continue to serve people by carrying out humanitarian assistance in future too. He also mentioned that the program was organized to foster the relation between security force and the local populace. And now the sports news. Trow Cricket Academy turned one year today. The academy was established on November 22nd last year, providing a platform for many budding cricketers in the state. Trow Cricket Academy organized a foundation day celebration at the Indo Stadium of the Academy located in Kwakaitel. Kaisham Thong MLA L. Jenta Kumar, Trow President L. Bhakaton, and PP Mahila Wing State President P. Premila, UDFS and Sports Director T. Pulin and MNCA Secretary K. S. H. Peter and other eminent persons graced the event. Speaking on the occasion, MLA L. Jenta Kumar stressed on the need for the joint efforts to promote cricket sport and produce proficient cricketers from Manipur. Elite men and women state level boxing championship kicked off under the aegis of Manipur Amateur Boxing Association at Boxing Arena Kuman Lampak Sports Complex today. DGP of Prison P. Daungal, IPS ex Vice President of Boxing Federation of India, Koibi Salam, Social Worker L. Surmila, and National Sports Award Committee member L. Sarita, including various MABA officials, also attended the inaugural event. In elite men's 54 kg category, Bishnupur's M. Amarjit defeated Churchanpur's Selen Mang Kongsai in first quarter final, while in second quarter final, Kakching's M. Kishan defeated Imphal West. CH Tiger to enter into the semi finals. Meanwhile, in elite women's 46 kg category, Thaubal E. Toicha sealed her sport in the semi finals by defeating Churachanpur's E. Naipining. 173 participants from 11 districts and two players from MPSC are competing in the championship. Speaking at the event, prison DGP P. Dungal, IPS, and Courage. Players to indulge in boxing to boost health and stay determined. Evergreen Soft Tech has clinched the winner's title of the second point Trex Cup. Evergreen Soft Tech defeated Techno Tech 2 0 in the final match played at Huru Football Turf at the NNT Sports Complex in Kurai Konsam Lake yesterday. Altogether, 16 teams competed for the cup. Winners backed a cash prize of 25,000 rupees, a trophy, and medals, while the runners up team backed 10,000 rupees cash prize and medals. Techno Techs, Huidrom Hinglen Nganba, backed best player title, best goalkeeper title, went to Sapam Somesh of Evergreen Soft Tech. Best team manager title went to Luis Sap Salam of Point Rex Team A, they were accorded a trophy and a cash price of 2,000 rupees each. 
Posterior Hockey Academy Manipur, Pam expressed happiness over selection of international hockey player Sushila Chanupukrambam, who grew up from the club in India women hockey team for Women Asian Championship Trophy to be held at Donghi, South Korea from December 5th to 12th. Press release from the academy said Sushila Chanupukrambam will play as midfielder in Indian team comprising of 18 players. 34th All India Postal Wrestling Championship kicked off today in New Delhi. Tokyo Olympic bronze medalist wrestler Bajrang Punia and Indian Olympic coach Anil Man graced the event. 98 state and national level wrestlers are taking part in the championship. In cricket, India trashed New Zealand by 73 runs to secure a 3-0 clean swift in a T20 international series at the Eden Garden Stadium held in Kolkata yesterday. India opting to bat first and secured 184 runs in 20 overs with 7 wickets down while New Zealand managed to score 111 runs in 17 overs and 2 balls with all wickets down. Before we end, let's take a look at headlines once again. Union Home Minister Amit Shah virtually lays foundation stone for Rani Gaiden Liu Tribal Freedom Fighters Museum at Luang Kao Village in Taming Long District. Congress Party files case at Manipur Assembly Speaker Tribunal Court for disqualification proceedings against MLA RK Imo and Cycle MLA Yamthong Hauke. NPP National President Conrad K. Sangma says safeguarding cultural identity of indigenous population of Northeast region is NPP's top priority. AMSO holds one day open public discussion on transport fare hike and grievances of transporters taking five resolutions. Manipur reports 39 new COVID-19 cases, 43 recoveries and zero death in past 24 hours. COVID positivity rate stands at 2.55%. And India adds 8,488 fresh COVID-19 cases, 12,510 recoveries and 249 deaths in 24 hours. Recovery rate stands at 98.31%. And that's all we have in this edition of the English Primetime Bulletin. Thank you for joining us. Coming up next is Primetime Manipur News. For more news, you can also follow Impact TV on Facebook, Twitter, Instagram and YouTube. Till then, good night. Stay indoors and stay safe. ไอ้หนูมันยังท้องนี่ดามาซีบุนมึงสิงเจนั่นน่ะท้อนมังอักตะนี่ไอ้บุงอ่ะยิ้มซาตะบะนองอันตะกะเนี่ยยิ้มก